Hello everybody and welcome to Spiritual Bite number 293, dated July 23rd, 2021. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. Thank you for tuning in. Please take a moment as you visited my channel to subscribe to it, Warisley Shelton M.A. Just click that little red subscribe button at the bottom right hand of this video as well as that little notification bell. Once you do so, you will receive notifications whenever I post new videos. Thank you in advance. This spiritual bite is entitled, God Will Fight For You. It is inevitable that in life, we will face daunting challenges that it seems as if there is no possible way we will overcome them. And let's face it, some of those challenges are indeed beyond our own human ability to overcome. We are not God. We are not immortal. We do not possess infinite and limitless abilities. By stark contrast, we humans are very, very, very limited in our abilities and what we can do both physically and mentally. All right. Humans cannot fly. I guess I didn't need to tell you that, did I? Huh. And neither can pigs, by the way. <clears throat> Humans also can't run that fast. All right? Yes, certain people can truly get down, especially if you ran track in high school or college. But guess what? Most animals can outrun you without even breaking a sweat, no matter how fast you can run. <laughs> so the animals definitely have us beat in that department. Humans are also limited in their mental abilities, all right? And, you know, while certain people are certainly more intellectually gifted than others, even they face barriers that simply cannot be overcome. And why do you think that is, ladies and gentlemen? Why do you think all of those restrictions exist? on human beings. Well, I will tell you why. Because our Heavenly Father deliberately made it that way so that human beings recognize, realize, and never, ever forget that we need Him for everything. Did I say something inappropriate or stutter? Everything. Thing, ladies and gentlemen, certain things he gives us the ability to do without, uh, shall we say, a, a tremendous amount of his intervention. OK, we can cook a meal. Cool. You know, we can. Uh, let me think of something else. We can um, put new wiper blades on our vehicle. Cool. All right. But. When we have to scale mountains and cross rivers and uh, other feats which are exceptionally challenging, to say the very least, we need his help. And not just a little bit, a lot of it. When you're about to sit for the bar exam, as an attorney, <laughs> you definitely need his help. <laughs> I don't care how much you studied. I don't care if you studied for the past six months. Guess what? He can make you forget all of that in an instant. It is he who allows you to retain that knowledge to be able to pass that examination. All right? It is he who can give a swimmer the ability to swim extraordinary distances without growing weak and tired, all right? And he will, okay, fight for you to be able to overcome those substantial obstacles. He will dash the opposition, all right? Whatever form the opposition may take. And the whole point of all this, the whole point of all four minutes of what I was just saying was that we will face opposition to achieving great things in this life. And because of that, he 
is necessary to overcome those obstacles. Okay? And that's reinforced in Scripture, specifically in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, okay? Uh, verses 13 through uh, 17, all right? And it reads, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will shew, show to you this day. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. Okay? Story. The crossing of the Red Sea in the book of Exodus is one of the finest examples of God's limitless power. He opened up the Red Sea for the ancient Israelites to cross it walking on dry land. And once they had all completed their exodus out of Egypt, he closed the sea, washing away the Egyptians forever. The Lord had delivered, and indeed, this was a superhuman feat that no human being could have ever fathomed or how to do. It was impossible, folks. Only God could create such a marvelous occurrence, opening up a mighty waterway like the Red Sea. Okay, and that wasn't a five-minute walk across that dry land, all right? Took a while for them to get across that. Regardless, though, this is an example of how the Lord will fight for you and the Lord will do things for you when you face daunting challenges and opposition to you, all right? There will be resistance, okay? There will be things and people who will stand in your way to you achieving those goals. But guess what? The whole purpose of that is to make you dependent on God, to make you call upon him. He knows what you need, but he wants to hear you say it. And he wants you to call upon him so that he can come and help you. Not only bring you through, but destroy your opposition at the same time. Only God can do this, folks. This is not within our ability to do. It is completely within his. We trust in him. We have faith in him. We understand that it's not all about us. And that we humans have severe limitations on our abilities. But we know by the same token that our almighty God can do anything. Most especially fight for us and give us the victory. No matter the challenge. So I thank you so much for listening to this spiritual bite. And I hope you gained some insight. Perhaps some motivation from it. If you did so, I greatly appreciate it. And I... Really like it if you gave me a like for the video. And if you've not done so at this point, I ask humbly, once again, that you please subscribe to my channel, Juarez Lee Shelton, M.A. All likes and all subscriptions matter. Okay, so thanks again for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. And I will talk to you at the next video. Peace and blessings.